One clap to get ready. Two clap, side extend. Then you call it for standing solidly behind your seat. You call still for standing solidly behind your seat. Walk into the rug and take. She's doing the right thing, and she showed me that she's ready to learn today. Also, see Taylor, he's sitting in star, he's doing the right thing, and showing me that he's ready to learn. Wow. All right, good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Mr. Right. So, today in IRA, we're going to be reading a story, and our story is actually called Martin's Big Words. So the story is actually about Martin Luther King, and Martin Luther King was actually a strong figure in our life. Martin Luther King actually believed that all people had the right to go to schools, get fair treatment at their jobs, and he was also able to give people the right to um, use public transportation and actually do it with everybody being involved. So um, today, as we read our story, you guys are gonna notice that we see a lot of different big words. And these big words are actually very, really important to us. So I want you guys to share, um, what do you guys think some big words that we might see inside of our books? Um, aside with hand, I want you guys to think of some big words that we might see inside of our book. Um, Janae, what's a big word that we might see inside of our story? We might see, um, we might see It's, um, he, did, he, he helped the world. Good, he helped the world. Maybe we might see a big, uh, big title of the world. Um, what other word might we see that's really powerful? Carl, what do you think? <laughs> What's a big word that we might be able to see inside our book? Alright guys, so God, we're actually going to read this story. You guys are going to learn so much information about Martin, Martin Luther King. Everywhere in Martin's hometown, he saw the signs, whites only. His mother said these signs were all in southern cities and towns in the United States. Every time Martin read the words, he felt bad until he remembered what his mother told him. You are as good as anybody. In church, Martin sang hymns. He read from the Bible. He listened to his father preach. These words made him feel good. When I grow up, I'm going to give big words too. Again, these are some of the big words that we might notice as we're reading our story. Martin grew up, he became a minister like his father, and he used the big words he had heard as a child from his parents and from the Bible. Everyone can be great. He studied the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. <coughs> He learned how the Indian nation won freedom without ever firing a gun. Martin said love when others said hate. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. He said together when others said separate. He said peace when others said war. Sooner or later, all the people of the world 
We'll have to discover a, a new way to live together. When I say go, I want you guys to turn and talk about what do you think Martin means when he says all people should be together. Ready? Go. Turn and talk. Class, 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 any class? Cheat, 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 five, four, three, two, one. So my question was, why do you guys think that Martin wanted people to be together instead of being separate? Um, Stevie, you want to share about why you think he wanted people to be together instead of separate? So that they could play together? Good, so that people can be able to play together, I agree. Thank you. This is my birthday. Oh, uh, so why do you think that he wanted people to be together instead of separate? So they could know each other more and see how they do things and how, and how different they are. Good, so maybe so we can see that people to be, uh, be um, together and also people can do different things together. Uh, one more. Um, say, what do you think? Good, so people can do good things together, although people are different. Thank you guys for sharing. I'm going to read the rest of our school. <laughs> in 1955, on an old December day, in Montgomery, Alabama, Rosa Parks was coming home from work. A white man told her to get up from her seat on the bus so he could sit. She said no, and she was arrested. Montgomery's black citizens learned of her arrest, and it made them very angry. They decided not to ride the buses until they could sit anywhere they wanted. So now we're able to learn that Rosa Parks wasn't able to sit wherever she wanted. She had to sit in the back of the bus. For 381 days, they walked to work and school and church. They walked in rain, in cold and in blistering heat. Martin walked with them and talked with them and sang with them and prayed with them until the white city leaders had to agree that they could sit anywhere that they wanted. When the history books are written, someone will say there lived black people who had the courage to stand up for their rights. In the next 10 years, black Americans all over the South protested for equal rights. Martin, along, Martin walked with them and talked with them and sang with them and prayed with them. White ministers told them to stop. Mayors and governors and police chiefs and judges ordered them to stop, but they kept on marching. Wait, for, ten, for three years I have heard the word wait. We have waited more than 340 years for our rights. I want you guys to think, how would you describe Martin Luther King? I want you guys to give me a silent hand. How would you describe Martin Luther King? What are some words to be able to describe him? Uh, Taylor, how would you describe Martin Luther King? I would describe him as like bossy, mm -hmm. You think he was bossy? Think. Let's look at some other words. How, how, how do you think he is as a person? How do you think he is as a person? Rashad, how do you think he is as a person? Nice. You think he's nice? Okay. You think he's nice? Well, some words that be able to describe him as a leader. Uh, Naive? Um, he's standing up for the rights. Good, he's standing up for the rights. So when people stand up for their rights, they're actually leaders. Uh, Maya, how would we describe him? He's really kind to others. He wanted everyone to be equal, so he was kind to others. Good job, guys.
They were jailed and beaten and murdered. But they kept on marching. Some black.